Hey Chatty Patty, it's the media chat room where the celebrity headlines are talking. So right now the headlines are blowing up because Summer Walker has revealed that she has a new boo. And y'all, they was heavy in the comments saying one thing about Summer Walker is she gonna keep a man. And others was indicating that she had low self-esteem because she moves on so quickly and she can't be alone. Now while all that was going down in the comments, people moved over to Twitter to start to identify who this person was. And y'all know Twitter got the job done, right? So lo and behold, he goes by the name of Coop Cashington. And he is an adult only content creator which means y'all is x-rated and he also does social media management for the girls who create adult only content so according to one of the girls who he's actually done a collaboration with she said he used to tell her that he was married to an r&b artist who was famous but she never used to get the details because she tried to keep it strictly business apparently these conversations happened back in december so it's possible that she could have been talking to him as well as Demetri flannery aka lil meach because in november Summer Walker confirmed that they were still dating. Well, anyway, being that it was her birthday, she showed us how she celebrated with her new boo. Hugged up under the waterfall while saying she's living slowly, softly, and intentionally. While on his page, he was wishing her a happy birthday, calling her the love of his life. Then the girl is on Twitter was like, hold up, hold up. That ninja used to say the same stuff to me. Sharing stories of him being possessive, deranged, and obsessed with some of these women. In addition to someone saying that he leaked video images of her back in 2015 when she said, that she didn't want to talk to him anymore. He seems to be on some different type of time. Now make sure you hold your device in your hand or you paying attention to your screen so that you can read exactly what some of the girls are saying about. And girl, feel free to pause as needed. But we're going to go ahead and get into this video of one of the girls who actually created content with him. Sharing with her that he was with a famous R&B singer. Even sending pictures of Summer Walker and her twin. Which y'all know that should be a big no-no because she keep their face blurred. Maybe that's why he was right here posting that he was manifesting twins with her so he could post his own kid. Now we definitely about to get into it but first I'm gonna need you to like and share this video with everyone that you know. Then subscribe to the channel so that you can become an official Chatty Patty lover and I promise you're gonna love it here. And last but not least turn on your notification bell so that you know when we drop our next video or go live. And just a reminder make sure that you watch this video all the way to the end so that you can get our chat word of the week. We are doing giveaways for the entire month of April as our channel is celebrating reaching over 2,000 subscribers. So make sure you head over to our community wall so that you can get the details in order to enter into our giveaway on this Thursday. Now let's go ahead and get into this video about an adult content creator that goes by the name of Pretty Lips. She recounts some of the same experiences that the girls had on Twitter. Now this video was captured by All Access Media so make sure you check her out in case you want the whole entire video. So of course I signed the contract this is my manager or whatever case he's my manager slash content partner because I everybody know I do solo content for this is like last year y'all I don't even talk, bother with him no more so y'all boom we signed the contract it's my real manager whatever the case may be um he only was my manager for all the two weeks it ended so fucking because I don't play that shit. so y'all boom so we on the phone we used to be kicking on the phone guys about shit just talking shit about life or whatever the case may be uh, he told me like his fiance or wife or whatever. He like it's a R&B singer, like a lit. He's like a famous R&B singer. She's bitch, whatever, whatever. Um, okay, you know, cool. You know me, I don't give a fuck what it is. I don't have nothing to do with me. So I was like, okay, you know that's what's up because me and him, we obviously we have a business relationship. It's not nothing personal. It's just business. So y'all, he just always mentioned it. You know, like I ain't really like. He's like, you know, he was talking about passion. Other people, he was managing people, getting their feelings. And I'm like, well, I'm not gonna ever get my feelings. I'm a player ass. And this is just business. We got a contract and all. Like. I'm what you got going on? I still got other shit going on the side anyway. Like you just manage me. So now we end up collabing. Um, as y'all know, I don't know if y'all seen it, if y'all seen it, y'all seen it, if y'all did, y'all did it's gone now because I don't f them. Um, you know, posted, did numbers. It was like two clips, I think he posted or whatever the case it be. Them clips did a couple numbers, whatever have you. He started texting me on some personal sh whatever the case may be. Now everybody know I I, I got good coochie. So of course, it can never stay professional with a nigga. I know how to keep it professional because I'm not, I'm not no kid. I don't like to not be professional. Like, sex don't move me. You can't get him. Especially with, then y'all know funny shit. The dick so mediocre. Like, it wasn't even, it wasn't nothing crazy. It was some, some average shit. Like, everybody that know me that seen that shit on Twitter back in last year was like, uh-uh, Kamaya. We, uh, we know you wasn't feeling it. We could see your face. I look at your face. You was looking so uninterested. And I was, it was not, it wasn't good. Y'all, I could lie. It wasn't good, but it was for content. So I just was like, whatever. Like, I just try to fake it, but it was, I don't, I'm a hard faker. If I don't like something, I can't, my face gonna tell it all. So he started just texting me just weird shit. Talk about Summer Walker, new dude, the whole entire time. I noticed 
Like, he's a lame from Atlanta, y'all. He's a goofball. Like, I cannot believe that's who he with. Because he kept telling me, like, he's telling me he was married to a famous R&B singer. You're not married to no goddamn Summer Walker. You you just talked to her. This was back in December, though. I ain't gonna lie. This is back when she still was with me. You know, funny shit. I ain't really trying to do no more link, no collabs with him. It was trash. I'm trying to tell you. I don't have the content. He has the content. It got taken down because he's suing me and all types of But he don't even know my real name to see me be suing me. I'm, if y'all do want to see his Twitter, it's like Dimes Only TV is his Twitter. If y'all want to go look at his shit, whatever. But the nigga porn, porn star, he do mad porn. But his face never in it. But everybody know that's him. But don't get me wrong, like, he got a lot of famous collabs. Like, I'm not going to take away from him. Like, he's lit. he's been doing it for a long time. He's, oh, he's like 37. You know what I'm saying? He's been doing it for a while. So in my head, I'm like, I don't want to do no more collabs with him. Like, I'm good with him. I'm trying to uh get some females to work with. Because he got he managed a couple other females, too. I'm trying to be cool about it. I'm like, I'm like I don't want to do more, no more collabs. I think I want to, like, focus on my solo shit. Or, like, girl on girl. Like, I'm just trying to let him off easy. Because I didn't want to just tell him his shit trash. Because he's cool and cool. No, I would not take away from being cool. He's cool at he weird but he started texting me some personal shit like oh you could just draw this is what the shit said the nigga gonna say something I, I i have the receipts and everything i'm gonna send up I, I, I will post up later if y'all want to see the receipts he like oh um okay we just gonna void the contract i don't want to i can't manage you because it's hard it's harder for me to push girl on girl and solo i gotta put more work in. i'm just over it it's too much uh on the um it's too much on the um, there's too much to do. I just can't deal with that right now. I'm like, okay, cool. We stopped texting each other because I'm just like, you know, like, it's over. We're good. Like, you know, he's like, I wish you the best. I'm like, you know, thank you. I appreciate you. That was it. Yeah, he texted me like two hours later, like, that belongs to me. I have the receipts, everything. I can post everything. He's like, that belongs to me. Da -da 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 -da. Uh, my wife is a whole famous RB star. I'm not tripping over content when man is just ain't about I'm like, I don't know who fuck my wife is because he like, he would never tell me who it is. I went ask, so I don't care, but he just kept always saying, look, about the, the wife being famous so i remember one time before we fell out or whatever he texted me a picture of the twins summer walker at the doctor with the twins so i'm thinking about one of her managers or something or a backup singer or some shit like that so i'll probably talk to somebody close to her or whatever because it's a personal picture of her at the doctor with the kids whole time y'all come to find out that is his y'all they is on social media and he's a lame oh my god when i say a real certified lame i said oh summer be doing anything because there's no way possible that that's who you've been for and they've been talking for a minute y'all not chat the pad is this time to hop in those comments but first here's the chat word of the week media m-e-d-i-a media and don't forget to check out our community wall so you can know how to enter into next week's giveaway not chat the pad is this time to hop in those comments let me know what you think about summer walker and her new little boot thing do you think him being in the adult only content world is a bad look for her based off what the girlies are saying do you think that he could possibly be dangerous and upset and what do y'all think about summer walker moving on so quickly do you think it says anything about her self-value or her needs and wants to have a man this is a good topic so i'm headed straight to the comments because i want to hear all your thoughts and opinions and before you go make sure you like and share Share this video with everyone that you know also subscribe to the channel so that you can become an official chatty patty lover and i promise you're gonna love it here and don't forget to turn on your notification bell so that you know when we drop our next video or go live now chatty patty you already know how i do first it. things first i'm hopping in the comments to see what you had to see and it's back to scrubbing the headline so that i can bring you all another story so that's gonna be all for now and until next time bye bye